In this video, we will show you how to unbox your new 3T bike. First, open the box. The three main things to do are putting the handlebar and stem on, inserting the seat post and attaching the front wheel. You will find inside all the tools you need to build your new 3T bike. Extract the bike and lay it on top of the box. Using the box as a work stand, remove the zip ties that secure the front wheel, the seat post and the handlebar to the frame. You can use your own work stand if you have one, but it's not necessary since you can use the box itself as a work stand as you can see. Remove the protections around the stem and the stereo tube to prepare mounting the handlebar. You will need the 5mm Allen key for the top cap and the stem. Remove the top cap. Slide the stem on the stereo tube and insert the top cap again, tightening it with your fingers, so that you can still do the final adjustments. Finger tight the stem bolts as well. It is now time to insert the seat post in the seat tube. In the box you will find the carbon paste and the seat post clamp. First, apply some carbon paste inside the seat tube. It is especially important to do so to ensure that the seat post stays in place without having to over tight the seat post clamp. Make sure that the screw of the seat post clamp is engaged but loose using a 4mm hex key. Insert the seat post in the seat tube and drop the seat post clamp in its recess. Make sure the minimum insertion mark goes inside the frame and tighten the clamp just to hold everything in place. Some bikes come without a handlebar tape to make your life easier if you want to adjust the position of the shifters. In case the handlebar tape is already there on your bike, you do not need to hustle with the following. After having removed all the protections, lift the cover of the shifters and make your adjustments. Apply the handlebar tape you find in the box. Do not forget to insert the bar ends. It's now time to complete your bike mounting the front wheel. Take the protections off the fork, unscrew the through axle with the 5mm hex key. Remove the disc brake block from the caliper and do not squeeze the brake levers before the front wheel is secured onto the bike. Take the caps off the hub and making sure the rotor is facing the non-drive side, align it in between the brake calipers. Slide in the through axle and tighten it with the provided torque wrench up to at least 10 Nm. Make sure the wheel spins freely. Now that the bike stands on its wheels, you can do the final adjustments to the seat post height and the handlebar before tightening all the screws up to the correct torque. When the screws of the stem around the stereo tube are loose, tighten the top cap first up to 5 Nm. Then tighten the stem screws up to 5 Nm. If you want to change the orientation of the handlebar, use the Apto tool for the faceplate screws. Set your seat height and tighten the seat post clamp up to 8 Nm. Before going for a ride, check and adjust the tire pressure and familiarize with the minimum and maximum pressure written on the sidewall of the tires. Your bike is now complete. 
add the pedals and go for a ride. Further information can be found on the bike assembly manual or on the 3t.bike website.